I don't hate people. I love people. But there's so many uh, voices out there that are negative and uh, destructive and deconstructive that I really uh, don't want to associate with you. Um, I know there's problems. There's always issues. There's always things that's wrong. There's always going to be negativity. And there's always going to be stuff that's just fucked up. I know that. But when I come and I talk to anyone, be it man or woman, be it man or woman, it's always going to be about love, man. I'm not here to hurt you. I want to help you. I don't want you to be worse. I want you to be better. And you can do fucked up shit. I do fucked up shit. I'm a fucked up person a lot of times. However, when I see people, when I meet people, when I listen to people, I try my best to sympathize at the very least. And hopefully I can empathize. But I can't empathize with every situation because I can't relate. Um, I am not a woman. Not that I don't empathize with ladies in certain things or sympathize. But when you want me to empathize emotionally to something that logically makes sense to me, I can't do that. And I say that just so women who I interact with don't get too emotional when I don't understand your pain because I don't. Um, there are men, too, that get extremely emotional instead of understanding um, where I'm coming from with my analysis or with my um, assessments. Um, you don't have to attack me because I don't think like you. I will never attack you. And um, when you say stuff that I can't relate to, I just sit back and I try to understand it. If I can't relate, I say, fuck it, I just can't get it. But I don't demoralize, belittle, slander, libel, or or say anything derogatory about an assessment that I don't agree with. I, 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 not to say there's anything wrong with people getting passionate because we all get passionate. However, I do think there's something wrong when instead of trying to understand and saying I disagree, you go straight to disapproval. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't disapprove of certain things, but wouldn't it be better to dialogue and understand where somebody's coming from before you um, adamantly state how much you disapprove of something that you probably don't even comprehend or you, you've interpreted out of context? And that's my thoughts. I think so many people um, are too quick to judge. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with judging because we all judge. You judge when somebody's tall, short, smart, stupid, fat, skinny, whatever. You, you make an assessment. However, there is something wrong when you hold those assessments against people with no concrete evidence or with little, just a, a snippet of an assessment that doesn't give you the whole overview. <laughs> so sometimes when I deal with people, it's frustrating to me because I think, well, I think about me. I think like a scientist. I'm always trying to understand and I'm always trying to observe. And I just, I try to be as objective as possible. And I'm saying, I'm not saying I can't be subjective because I'm subjective. Um, I think every woman should love me because I'm gorgeous. I'm handsome Chuck. Come give me some kisses. Yeah, anyway, but back to it. You know, that, that, that's always been my frustration. People are so quick to categorize, label, put group, force, cajole, any other terms you choose to use people into certain situations that um, you can't be objective in understanding uh, the variables that led to certain results. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, like right now, I'm I'm dumbed down due to uh, drinking some good beer. So this may be not over people's heads. Maybe people will comprehend and get what I'm saying. But this is not as articulate and as as poignant as I would like to make it because the inebriation effect has uh, limited my ability to completely structure my thought process. In a position, that's the wrong word, completely structured my thought process in a way that is readily digestible for the masses. <laughs> but if it is understood, then I applaud you. However, let me get back to it. Uh, I think that too many people uh, say things, and I, I really don't take things personal. Not at all. However, but I, I'm human, so I can get offended. Well, I don't get offended much. But I can still get offended by idiocy. And by quick statements or by un, un, unobserved reports. Yeah, that's the best word to use. You, you're, you're making uh, 
you're ascribing an observation, but you haven't observed it. See, that makes no sense to me. So you you know you're you're plagiarizing, you're lying, you're you're mudging the notes to get to your um, view, and I can't get down with that. Um, I wish that more people, more people, listen to me. I wish that more people were more objective and were more observant instead of fudging uh, the observations, uh, their their views, their seeings, their statistics, their numbers. Yeah, that's what I think. I wish more people were more wise. And it's funny how these people. I mean, I'm I'm really not a, a emotional dramatic person. So I'm not going to talk bad about you today and be cool with you tomorrow. I don't get down like that. Um, if I got some slanderous, evil stuff to say about you, which I really never really do, I just won't deal with you. And that's what always amazes me about people and their hypocrisy. You, you, you'll put your foot in your mouth and then you feel bad about it later. Um, before you put your foot in your mouth, why don't you think? Why don't you say, okay, let me observe this person for some months, for some time. I'm not going to make a quick assessment. I'm going to give them... Uh, Five months of just listening to what they have to say so I can critique their character. Because some people, character-wise, are extremely awesome. And some people that other people follow, character-wise, are pieces of shit. And I was said, a lot of you people are pieces of shit. And I really wish, not I wish harm on you, but I wish your existence didn't happen. I wish you were non-existent. I wish you would just poof, be gone. <laughs> but that's just me. But I'm happy that you exist because... You can become the opposition. You can become the rule block that I need to run over. <laughs> but there's just Charles and Charles is stupid. Well, anyway, I've said enough. I pontificated. I stood up on my podium. I've verbalized enough. My loquaciousness has been <laughs> bubbly ever <evanescent>. since. <laughs> Michael Jackson style, baby. Michael Jackson style. I hope everybody feels great. I've said some nonsense, but it's probably smart nonsense. I wish somebody else's nonsense was as, as intelligent as mine or as intellectual. My rhetoric is on a different level. It's above the average. <laughs> I'm done, people. Give me a thumbs down. Thumbs down, Charles. Thumbs him down. It's not worth it.